GWC brings students from varied backgrounds and I've come to learn and appreciate the challenges that we face in ministries and the work that the Lord is doing in our individual communities. We often discuss the challenges that we face back at home and that is um, the prosperity gospel and the lack of deep sound theological training. So the studies here are structured in a way that we are helped to apply the knowledge to curb most of these challenges, but most importantly and ultimately to grow in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hi, my name is Volker Wallace. I'm a second year master student at GWC. This library that you see here is integral to my research. During the lockdown of 2020, I was stuck in Namibia for six months and my studies ground to a virtual halt because I didn't have access to these precious resources. I think books will remain important as a result for students, but for everyone, because the very nature of the medium causes us to slow down. It causes us to be more careful and more deliberate with how we feed ourselves with information. And I think we become more wise as a result. So lockdown was really hard in the beginning, but as a community here at GWC, we've really tried to transition and uh, get used to the regulations by off, you know, wearing our masks, sanitizing, and maintaining a social distance. But one thing that I've really just loved is being part of a community that is very diverse in the sense that we have different brothers and sisters from all over the world with different cultures, but just coming together with so much passion and zeal uh, around the word of God so that we can and learn from it and regular prayer has been so amazing. Hi my name is Mzi. I'm a second year student here at George Whitfield College and I'll be talking about uh, the wellness of the students and in particularly I'll be talking about the fellowship groups. So fellowship groups are very vital for the wellness of the students. It's where they get to share what they're going through if it struggles or if it triumphs and it's actually it's a safe space where they get to interact with with other students and the chaplain and i think it's one of the most important spaces here at at, at, the, at the college for our wellness hi i'm david i'm a student at george whitfield college i think one of the most valuable things about being a residential student is just uh the the growth that happens outside of the classroom uh, through communication over the lunch table, the dinner table, um, late night debates and all these sorts of things. So, so there's just such a wealth of, um, of uh, net support networks that you build through residential learning, which I think is just um, invaluable. I would definitely suggest uh, residential uh, learning if you can, if that's a possibility, definitely do it. Yeah. Hey, I'm Matt and I'm an honor student. And I'd say the biggest difference between postgrad and undergrad is freedom. That in terms of time, that I'm not bound by the same college timetable, I don't have lectures back to back and uh, I structure my own day. Uh, but the bigger thing is in terms of focus, that I get to dig into what I'm interested in and particularly in my dissertation to take a deep dive uh, where I want to focus and I find that really exciting. My name is Clemo Hanjerika from Zambia. This year we are back to face-to-face -face classes during our class sessions, we make sure that we maintain social distance. One of my favorite course has been missiology because it has made me to understand about the Missio Day because it's not the mission of the church, but it is the mission of God who sends the church to reach out into the world. I would like to appreciate you for your continued support that you have enabled us to continue studying at GWC.